In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus BaCl2. This is silver nitrate, and this is barium chloride. First thing we need to do is balance the equation. This is the molecular equation, and we need to balance that. Because if we put a 2 here, and then a 2 here, this equation, it would be balanced. So we have our molecular equation. Now we need to write the states for each substance. Silver nitrate. Nitrates are very soluble. So we're going to put an aqueous. This is going to be dissolved in water. It'll break apart or dissociate into its ions. For barium chloride, chlorides are also very soluble with a few exceptions. So that's also going to break apart. It's going to be aqueous, dissolved in water. On the product side, let's look up this silver chloride. I said that chlorides are normally soluble, but with silver, that is one of the exceptions we need to remember. So if we come down here and find silver, chloride. Let's go down and you can see most all of these chlorides are blue with an S. That's soluble. They'll dissolve except silver chloride. That's insoluble. So it won't dissolve in water. Because of that, we're going to put an S. It's going to be a solid and it's really just going to sit at the bottom of the beaker as a precipitate. So that's our silver chloride. Then we have this nitrate here, barium nitrate. Nitrate's very soluble. Put an aqueous after that. So we have our states. Next, we're going to split the strong electrolytes apart into their ions. This will give us the complete ionic equation. So the strong electrolytes, they're the ones that dissociate or break apart in water. They have the AQ after them. So when we look at the periodic table, silver, it's a transition metal, but it's kind of interesting. Silver is one of the exceptions. If we look here at the periodic table, we have ionic charge across the top. And right here, silver, it is a transition metal, but it's always a 1 plus ionic charge. So silver's plus. And then the nitrate, this NO3, if you look that up on a table of polyatomic ions, you'll see that the nitrate ion, that's always negative. That's a good one to remember. Barium, right here in group 2, that has a 2 plus ionic charge. And then chlorine, over here, one of the halogens, that has a 1 minus ionic charge. So we have our charges here. Now we can split these things up here in the reactants. We have Ag plus. That's the silver ion, and I won't write aqueous each time. We'll write that at the end. And we have two of them, so we'll put a 2 in front of there as our coefficient. Plus, we have that nitrate ion, that NO3 minus, and this 2 applies to everything. So we have two nitrate ions. We have that barium ion, Ba2 plus, and then we have the chloride ion, Cl minus. This subscript means we have two of those, so we'll put two there. These are the reactants. For the products, we only split the strong electrolytes up. Those are the things that have aqueous after them. Our silver chloride is a solid. It's at the bottom of the test tube, so we're not going to split that up. It's not split up in our test tube. So we're just going to write 2 AgCl, and that'll be our solid. Those are together. We have barium. We said that was 2 plus. The nitrate's 1 minus. So we have Ba2 plus, and then we have the nitrate ion, NO3 minus, and the subscript means we have two of those. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now what we do is we cross out these spectator ions. They're on both sides. They're in the reactants and in the products. So let's see. Ag plus, we don't have that there. NO3, we have two NO3 minus in the reactants, two in the products. Let's cross those out. It really hasn't changed. We're not interested in that. We have the barium ion here, and then in the products again, cross it out. Everything else is unique, and that'll give us the net ionic equation. 2 Ag plus plus 2 Cl minus gives us 2 Ag Cl. Let me clean it up. I'll add the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus BaCl2. So this is our net ionic equation, but we should do one more thing. We have 2 in front of each of these substances here. Since they're the same, we can reduce that down to 1. We can just get rid of these. We don't write the 1. And this is probably a better net ionic equation for this silver nitrate plus the barium chloride. We have the lowest coefficients in front of each of these. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.